Happy Valley Railroad. My name is Eric and Jamie's all the way there in the back and we'll be your conductors for this lovely train ride. Here's a few friendly reminders. There's no eating, drinking, nor smoking on the ride. That does include electronic cigarettes as well as other vape pens. Another friendly reminder, please remain seated throughout the duration of the entire ride. Thank you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride here on the King's Island Miami Valley Railroad. If you look up, down, and all around, you'll be able to see Diamondback, King's Island's tallest, fast as a town recreated roller coaster. It goes up to speeds of 80 miles an hour. It opened in 2009 with a price tag of just $22 million. I personally think the train's a bit better, but hey, that's just me. If you look on your right, you'll be able to spot Whitewater Water Canyon. You might notice it's a bit drain. That's all right because Whitewater Water Canyon is not opening until Memorial Day weekend. But don't worry, when it does open, it'll be full of water and, of course, full of water. If you look off to the right, you can see the back end of our engine house. Inside of engine house is the green number 19 train. It's sitting in there taking a nice little nap right now. It'll come out during Memorial Day when we go to the train operation. Both of our trains here at King's Island are authentic steam locomotives based off of the General. The General it was a train used during the Civil War, during the Battle of the Great Train. The Great Locomotive Chase, my apologies. That was actually the first battle in which the Medal of Honor was awarded in the United States. President Lincoln has the honor of displaying the Medal of Honor to the Union soldiers. You might be able to spot Teddy, the world famous bear. He gets paid to sit there and wave at everybody. Does everybody wave at Teddy? Hi, Teddy. We are now entering the Soak City Station. We will not be stopping here today, for Soak City is currently closed until Memorial Day weekend as well. But don't worry, once Memorial Day weekend comes around, Soak City will have a new attraction, Tropical Plunge. Six different slides, three of which the floor will fall out from under you and you go racing down the slide. Seems like a really fun ride, I'll try to get over there myself. Just kidding, I never leave the train. Oh 
up coming on the right is Fort Tony. Inside Fort Tony is a little house. It's 114 years older, 70 years older. It keeps on itself. Inside a little house is a little girl by the name of Missouri Jane. Rumor has it that goes to Missouri Jane, walks these tracks. So maybe, just maybe, you come back a bit later, or it's a bit darker out, you might be able to spot the spotter goes sitting right behind you. always there. He never leaves. He works four hours than I do, and I'm a ride operator. able to spot our tree stumps in their natural habitat. If you look closely enough, you might be able to tell they're plastic. If you can tell that, you're 100% correct. They're plastic. It's just for show. Speaking of things just for show, look at her nice squad of scenery. Get with the Berry Rose Inn, a general good store, a bank, and of course, a jail. Look at the barber shop. Let's get my hair cut there. I didn't really care for it. These people are bald. Coming on your right is the front end of our engine house. Inside there, if you look close enough, is our green number 19 train. So sitting in there, getting ready to open up with us here. Come on, Day weekend. On our right is the wet water cannon turntable. You might notice it's a bit messy over there. We'll under some kitchen renovations, but don't worry, it'll be ready come tomorrow Day weekend. You look on your right, you might be able to spot some different color markers. What those markers mean, I do not know. They don't tell me anything. But one place to find out the most up-to-date information about that is following us on Twitter at KingsAllenPR. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram as well at KingsAllenPR as well. That'll be the best place to find out the most up-to-date information about what's going on over there. The only thing I can't say is watch out for falling trees. At this time, we are now returning to our Rivertown train station. On behalf of the entire train crew, my name is Eric, and Jamie is there in the back. We would like to thank you for riding the Kings Island and Miami Valley Railroad with us. It's been a lot of fun for me. Hopefully, it's been fun for you, too. If it wasn't nearly as much fun as you thought, I do apologize. I had a lot of fun. You might want to check out Backlot Stunt Coaster. They have fire and propane, too. We only have propane. At this time, you guys can exit off to your left and have a wonderful rest of your day here at Kings Island. A friendly reminder, the park does close at 10 o'clock tonight in a little more than an hour. At 10 o'clock, so now the fireworks spectacular. Best place to be this fireworks is on International Street. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day here at Kings Island. <laughs>